Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Steve from Shock Extreme Productions as well as Shock Extreme One on YouTube and welcome back to Body Bags. Thank you once again for joining us. Alright, so this is week 57 here in Body Bags and this week is Famous Starts Week. Now, when we talk about Famous Starts, we're talking about Famous Starts for several actors. For example, I'm not sure if I'm 100% on this one, but Jennifer Aniston in Leprechaun, that kind of set off her career, as well as Johnny Depp in A Nightmare on Elm Street. For me, I am doing one of my favorite scream queens, as I call her, Danielle Harris, in what I think of it as her start in Halloween 4, the, re the return of Michael Myers, directed by Dwight Little. Um, I know that a bunch of people really hate, you know, 4, 5, and 6. They only really like basically 1 through 3, and then maybe H20 or H2O, as people call it. For me, I've always had a soft spot in my heart for um, Halloween 4, Halloween 5, but we'll get into that later. The plot of this is basically Michael Myers has been in some sort of coma for the last 10 years ever since he was blown up by Dr. Loomis in the hospital in Halloween 2 for whatever reason that kept him alive and he ends up being transported to some other hospital. He wakes up and he goes on another killing spree. That's when we get to meet the character of Jamie Lloyd, Daniel Harris's character, who was put into a foster home under the Carruthers family, and we're not really sure what happened to um, Lori Strode. Apparently she died, but she's in the care of her new foster family, and she really looks up to her new foster sister, Rachel, played by um, Ellie something, I keep forgetting. Ellie Cornell, I think her name is. Um, so she's really looking up to her, and at the same time, she's visioning her uncle, or Michael Myers, or as she calls it, the Boogeyman. And he comes back to Haddonfield, Dr. Loomis comes back to Haddonfield, and it's like Halloween all over again. Now, my thoughts on this. I saw this movie at a very young age. I believe I saw the full version of this movie before I actually saw the original Halloween. So that's one reason why I like this movie you know, a lot more than other people really like it. That's why I also like the fifth movie a lot more than other people like it, because really the fifth movie isn't that good, but it's always had a special part in my heart, so I kind of like it for what it is. Um, for being, you know, I think she was like nine years old, eight years old when she was in this movie, Daniel Harris did a phenomenal job in this movie. Um, I mean, I love Daniel Harris to this day. I love all, basically all the movies she's in and Daniel Harris is probably one of my favorite actresses, especially in horror. Um, I consider her a modern day scream queen. Um, but back to Halloween 4, um, you know, I wish Michael Myers was a little bit different. I wish he was more like what he was back in the original instead of, you know, like that clean white face. Uh, there was just something about it I didn't like. Um, gore, definitely gorier than the first movie, I can tell you that. Um, if I had to really rate Halloween for, yeah, uh, I'd obviously give it a higher grade because Daniel Harris is in it, but if I had to give it a rating, it's a good question, probably at least a 7 out of 10 easily. Um, you know, I love Daniel Harris, this movie is a special, heart, special place in my heart, so it gets a pretty good grade for it, but... Alright guys, that was my review for you guys today. Hope you all enjoyed. Sorry if I seem a little tired, but it is 2.45 in the a.m. right now when I'm review when I'm recording this review. But anyway, if you like this video and you like the other reviews, definitely subscribe to Body Bags. Like, comment, share, whatever you guys do. Um, once again, my name is Steve from Shark Extreme Productions, and until next time, see y'all later.